Hello everyone, my name is Loic Zimmerman. I'm a French artist living in Los Angeles, California. I'll be taking you through some of the basic functionality and some of the newest features of W2.0 on the NVIDIA Shield tablet. The first thing you will notice about W2.0 is the great new look and functionality. It is fully aligned to the new Android 5.0 Lollipop material design language. The whole look is a lot more flat and has a great smooth animation when bringing in the menus and the submenus. It makes using the app a real enjoyable experience. First, I will point out some basic items to get you started. In the top left, you can choose what mode you want to double in, whether it is sketch mode, watercolor mode, or oil mode. I'm going to choose watercolor here. I can choose a white brush, a standard brush, a marker, a pen, and an eraser from the menu on the right. I'm going to choose a standard brush and lower my sensitivity level a bit. Now I'm going to choose my color and adjust the level of water on my brush. You can see how that looks on the canvas now. I can change the radius size of my brush here and change my opacity level here. One of my favorite functions in watercolor is the gravity mode that you can choose from the tool menu. This allows to hold up the tablet and watch the pen flow down the page naturally thanks to the GPU of the NVIDIA Tegra K1 processor. I can even turn the tablet in real time and watch the pen switch direction. Now, let's talk about the newest features you will find in W2.0. I'm going to pull up the sketch I've been working on here. First is the new layering system, which can be found on the right hand menu. It lets you create up to three separate layers by just using the plus button, change their priority using the arrows here, and merge them using the merge button. Very simple and intuitive. You can also pinch to pull out from the canvas and pan around, being sure to use two fingers. This makes it easy to get to every part of the canvas. You can then pull out to get back to the normal size of your canvas. So, in the previous version of the app, you could mix custom colors by just choosing one color and mixing it clockwise into the mixing circle. Then, choose a second color and mix it in a clockwise direction. If you went too far, you could just spin in a counterclockwise direction. The new dabbler lets you save those custom colors in these empty slots. You can save up to 16 colors, so you won't need to keep mixing custom colors or finding the color you're looking for with the droplet tool. Let's say you want to use some perfectly straight edges in here or put some circles. All you have to do is choose the ruler from the tool section and adjust the size and direction of the rectangle using these sides on either side. If you want to change the shape, just tap on one of the sides. Then just use your brush or pencil against it and you'll get the crisp line you're looking for. You can even record your session just by tapping on the share button and choosing this video option. The Shield tablet will record your art session as long as you have enough space left in your storage. There's a lot more to learn about Dabbler, so as you're enjoying the app, just press and hold on any menu item to get a hint of what the feature does. I hope you continue to enjoy and create using the new Dabbler 2.0 on the NVIDIA Shield tablet. To learn more, visit shield.nvidia.com.